Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily. My favorite makeup today is this. This is the Sephora Micro Smooth Blush Duo. They still have this on the website. They don't have this in stores anymore. I think they've just discontinued this kind of packaging. They still have blushes just like this one. It's just not going to look exactly the same as this. Uh, this is in the shade Guava Glow. I really love this blush because it sort of has a matte blush on one side and sort of a shimmer blush on the other and you get just a really beautiful effect. You can swirl the two together um, or you can just use them individually. I just love this blush and I've been using it again this week because I was getting a little sick of my project pan blush and I just reminded how much I really like it. And now on to the video. So for today's video we're going to be looking for the perfect navy lip and today's edition will be for under ten dollars. So the three contenders I have are first the Maybelline Python Metallic Lip Kit. So this has a blue lip balm in it and then it has a glitter topper that goes with it as well. Next, we're going to be looking at one of the Sephora Lip Stories lipsticks. This is a matte shade in the shade City Beat. And this is a CoverGirl Melting Pout Matte in the shade Supermodel. So we're going to be approaching these just as a basic navy lipstick. I also have lip toppers to go with them, so I will do the look first just as itself as a navy, and then with some sparkle that you can add on top. That does add to the price a little bit, but the base product is at least under $10. So first up, we're going to be taking a look at this Maybelline Python Metallic Lip Kit. So you might have seen the other video, I'll throw it up in the cards here, about how I tested this out. Uh, basically what it is, it's got a balm on one side and then you have this beautiful metallic, like sort of like an eyeshadow that you can put on as a lip topper. You can also wear it on your face as well. It's really quite pretty. The, the eyeshadowy topper thing was the prettiest part about this. This color was nice, but it was incredibly difficult to apply this with just your finger, and based on the packaging, that's how you were supposed to do this. Uh, but instead, I decided to go pick up a lip brush because I had such a hard time getting this balm on, it was kind of a waste of the product. But I do actually like the, the packaging. It would be easy to take this around with me if I wanted to have a navy blue lipstick, plus an option for a topper, so I would like to try this again. This is in the shade Venomous. And I went and picked up a Real Techniques by Sam and Nick lip brush. Uh, this was at Ulta. I just picked the only lip brush that cost under $10. And this is what that Python metallic lip kit looks like with just the blue shade after uh, three coats and some judicious lip lining with the brush. Um, I stand by my original thought that this just isn't a very good navy uh, balm. Um, even with the lip brush, it's easier to put it on and get it in the corners, but it's still kind of patchy. It's not very dark. But I will say that this topper is pretty beautiful, so I'll show you what that looks like now. And this would be my finished lip look with the Python metallic lip kit. Again, I really like the topper, I just don't think this is a very good navy, so I would not hold this out for your dream navy from the drugstore. So next we're going to be trying the CoverGirl Melting Pout Matte. So this is a liquid lip, I picked this up at Target the other day. This is what the applicator looks like. And it smells sweet, but also kind of cinnamony, it's very strange. And this is the CoverGirl Melting Pout Matte. So in terms of formula, this one's okay. It's a little bit drying and it does take about two to three coats to get an even layer on this. But for what it is, for a drugstore liquid lipstick, it's really not bad. Um, the smell goes away um, and it does dry down matte and it's, it's pretty decent. It doesn't have the best staying power for a liquid lipstick, I find, but um, like it won't stay on through like drinks or having food or anything like that. But I think for a very basic navy, it's okay. And now to add a little bit of fun, we're going to be adding the CoverGirl Melting Pout Glitz. This is in double platinum, shade 405. This is a glitter top coat. I swear I had no intention of buying this, but when I realized there was a glitter top coat and it only cost $7, I kind of had to try it. So this is the kind of tube it is in, and then it will squeeze out through here. And here it is with the top coat. I actually quite enjoy the top coat. It does not disturb the lipstick underneath, despite the fact that it's just not the best lipstick underneath it, but it really does add a beautiful shimmer. Um, it makes your lips glide together, but not in a sticky way, and just, you know, silver glitter. Why wouldn't I be happy about that? Interestingly enough, with this top coat, I find that the silver glitter will rub off, but the lipstick actually doesn't. So it really did form sort of a protective barrier between the lipstick and the outer air. So uh, it actually makes the lipstick last longer. 
And last, we're going to be doing the Sephora Lip Stories. This is in the shade City Beat. I did a previous video where I talked about the three different finishes of these lipsticks. I'll link that up in the cards above if you'd like to see that. Uh, but we're just going to take a look at the lipstick today. It's a beautiful matte navy. And this is the Sephora Lip Stories in City Beat. I quite like this lipstick, but you do have to layer it several times. This is an $8 lipstick, so I can't get too mad about it. Um, and once you get it on, it does dry down nicely and it, it does not sort of smear around your face, but you're gonna need like two or three coats of this to get a good solid color. But I do like it, it feels nice on the lips and it smells nice too. And just to add to the sparkly, I'm gonna add some of this other Sephora Lip Stories lipstick in the shade Ouch, it's sort of like a metallic -y, sea foamy green. I'm just gonna layer a little bit of that on my pout. And this is with a little bit of ouch as a topper. So in terms of the navy lipsticks we tried out today, there's definitely a good hierarchy here. So um, the worst navy I would definitely say is this Maybelline Python. Um, it's just not a very good lip color. The lip topper is beautiful and it in fact is my favorite of the three lip toppers that we were trying today, but the navy itself is no good. So I would not pick this up unless you're really interested in the lip topper because you're not get like, like, look at the back of this. You are not going to get an opaque lip like that. It's just not gonna happen. Um, but the lip topper is beautiful. I'm probably gonna look into trying to depot that lip topper and put it somewhere else because keeping this otherwise is not really useful. Second, in terms of navies, I would say the CoverGirl Melting Pout Matte. It's a decent matte lipstick for what it is because it is inexpensive. I think it's $6.99, but uh, it, it doesn't have the best consistency. Uh, it works actually much better with a topper on top of it, but by itself, it's fine, but it's a little patchy. You're gonna have to put a lot of layers on. So I'm indifferent to this, but it's a good option if you like this formula. The Melting Pot Glitz, on the other hand, I'm kind of loving this stuff, so I'm gonna be trying this out with more of my lipsticks because so far, it's worked pretty well over several different kinds of lipsticks, but I have some other brands I wanna try. But I'm enjoying this, this is fun. And I would definitely say that my favorite navy today is the Sephora Lip Stories in City Beat. I don't actually love the lip topping of putting ouch on top because it sort of smeared the blue a little bit, but ultimately I got a nice shine out of it, but it took a little bit longer to achieve. So this is definitely my favorite navy, but I wouldn't necessarily pair this with the other Sephora Lip Stories lipsticks unless you're prepared to, you know, make a little palette on your hand and really work at it. And so the big winner who will continue to compete against other navy lipsticks in future videos will be the Sephora Lip Stories. I really do enjoy this lipstick. I think it's fine though, I'm not going to pretend like it's the greatest navy lipstick in the world, but I do enjoy it very much and it certainly beat out these two. I am still on the hunt for trying to find that perfect navy that hopefully doesn't cost me like $40 to find, uh, but for $8 this Lip Stories is a good backup. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you're enjoying the content on this channel, please subscribe. If you've got an idea for a video you'd like to see me do, you can put that in the comments down below. And I hope you're all having a wonderful day, so I'll see you all soon. Bye!